them, right? She uh, like had two kids, right? And she, like when you know when you have kids, you 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 can't really you're not physically fit. But what she did is even after having two kids, she trained every single day. And again, within eight months, she passed the fitness test for policing. So I don't think anybody has an excuse. If you can have two kids and still pass the fitness test for policing, I think anybody can anybody. do it. Thank you for an amazing response on our last podcast. In today's podcast, we get to talk with Zane, who is pursuing his studies in Police Foundation from Centennial College. This podcast will give you in-depth information about how to be a police officer in Canada and how police works in general. Apart from policing, you will get to know about how to focus your goals and how to stay consistent in your life. Subscribe to our channel. This is CanCast by Song Rajput. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. Uh, my name is Zain. I'm a uh, police foundation student at Centennial College at the moment. And um, I'm also working alongside um, the Toronto Police right now for various volunteer projects. Um, and I just like to give out a disclaimer that anything I say in this, uh, in this video is of personal opinion. My views do not reflect uh, any law enforcement agency or Centennial College. Um, my views are my views. Um, I apologize if I give out any information that might not be sourced correctly. Um, if you have uh, any inquiries about law enforcement, most of the information can be found on the uh, websites. Um, so like if you're interested in Toronto Police, go on the Toronto Police website, OVP or anything like that. Um, and yes, I am not re a representative of my college as well. I am speaking here of my own will and of uh, my own opinions. Thank you. Most of us means mm -hmm. international students mm -hmm. think you have to do police foundation mm -hmm. to get a police job. So, Is that true? So I am a police foundation student right now. Um, it's not required, but... The way I look at it is that if you can go into a program that teaches you police related um, content, right, and it can help you prepare for it, why would you not do that, right? What I was saying is it's not required, but no, there's no such thing as too much education. If you get education, you stand apart. Let's say you didn't go to police foundations. You have all the minimum requirements, but I went to police foundations. Let's say we're the exact same when it comes to yeah. qualifications. They're putting our resumes side to side. The only difference is I have a college diploma from police foundations and you don't. Where are they going to hire? They're going to hire me because I'm more educated. You have right? experience also with yeah. police officers, right? Yeah. Well, 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 there's that too. But but then let's let's take another example. Let's say I'm I'm 24 years old, yeah. right? Let's say I have a police foundations diploma. But you're 35 years old. You have ex security experience. You have relevant job experience. <laughs> you right? told me 10 yeah. years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that's yeah. the thing. They actually prefer people that are older because they're more experienced. Yeah, right. You know, they don't want like little kids. They want people that are, you know, mature. More they want mature. people that will do the right thing, right? So obviously, like with uh, like me, if I just come in with my diploma and then go like, hey, I did police foundation. They're like, oh, but... We have a candidate right here. He didn't do police foundations, but he has a bachelor's in business or something. They care more about that. Yeah. Right. right? So they don't care if you have a police diploma or not. So no, you don't need a police foundations diploma, but it's better than not having anything else. Right. So the when people go for minimum requirements, I always say, compare yourself to everyone else. Right. This job is a competitive job. Right. It's not even a job. It's a career. It's not like you go, you go in, you work, you clock out. You're going to be dealing with people and it's going to follow you home. This job follows you home, right? So they want the best of the best. They want people that are willing to put that sacrifice in, right? Does it stressful? Oh, of course. Of course, it's a stressful job. But, you know, um, I think it's more, I think it's rewarding, right? The reason I want to do it, I know how stressful the job will be, but if that if that means i can help someone in a positive way i would i would gladly take that stress on you know and most officers think like that right it's not about the money the job pays well but it's not about the money the job has good benefits but it's not about that it's not about any of the good stuff you receive from the job it's about genuinely caring about 
society like society right that's right? what i want to ask you that mm -hmm. i am a i was an international student right mm -hmm. so we can't afford mm -hmm. police foundation course mm -hmm. right we can mm -hmm. but we have to work at night and then yes. attend the school in the morning mm -hmm. it will be so hard for us right yes so if we don't do a police foundation course mm -hmm. what are the steps we're gonna follow okay well you need to be a i believe you need to be a canadian citizen or you need to have pr okay to be an officer you yeah. can't can you guide me through if I'm PR? Like yeah, so if you're a PR or Canadian citizen, you, that's good, right? Um, first thing is, I would say you need to get a an OACP certificate. That's for the province of Ontario, right? If you want to be an officer in Ontario, you need the OACP. And, and what it's it a, is for? Uh, it's a certificate you need to um, apply, right? You, okay. need to, you need to go online. And I need a single, every single detail, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again... I want to apply. Yeah, yeah. Again, thing. like, I'm not... I haven't applied for it yet because I'm not ready to apply. I think it's good for a year, okay. right, after you get it. Okay. Again, don't quote me on that. I don't I don't know the exact, exact details, yeah, I can get right? It. It, but you apply online and you do get, get the certificate done. You go in, you give your police application in, right? They do, they check your background. There's just basic screening. It's just the, the same old, same old, right? Okay. So after you get that stuff done, you I know your hearing and your vision have to be up to standard. So again, when you're doing your, your certificate, they will, all of the information is in that package, right? You go to your, your eye doctor and your ear doctor, and then they will assess you, make sure you're okay, right? So okay. if your vision isn't that good, you can get laser surgery, right? Because I believe you have to have uncorrected vision to a certain standard. Okay. Meaning you have you that. can't wear glasses. Do you know yeah. the specific number? Or I think it it's be... I think it's twenty out of forty uncorrected. Okay. Don't again, don't quote me on that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm I pretty sure it's twenty out of forty uncorrected. Meaning meaning you can't w have any corrective lenses. So like you need to have um, laser eye surgery or anything like that to correct it. But then once you pass. If your if your vision isn't up to standard, but you're in the police force, it's okay. If you need glasses afterwards, they don't reassess you unless you. I think if you go into like specific, like um, you know, a special team or something where they reassess you every year, then it is. But for the most part, because you see, like a lot of officers afterwards, they don't. Yes. Like some of them don't, like definitely don't meet the fit fitness requirements yes. or the. I, you can see that, right? It's because you only need to pass it once. Uh, that was my. That's mm -hmm. gonna be my next question. Yeah. That yeah. what are the physical requirements? The fitness testing is not as hard, but maybe it's because I always work out. So if it's not as hard for yeah. me, but I don't think it's anything crazy. You need a seven on the beep test. Okay. Uh, for so it's like a twenty meter shuttle shuttle run, and there is a, a an obstacle course that you have to do. So you do the obstacle course first. Uh, it's called the prep test. And then after you do that, there's, again, I, I don't know every single thing, but I know there's like a, there's a dummy that you have to drag. You have to simulate uh, an, an arrest by, there's an arm restraint and then you have to close it. There's like a little obstacle course you have to run. You have to jump up, grab the wall. There's like stuff that you will have to do to show that you're able to move. So can you tell me in details, like how many, mm -hmm. how much time it will take? I think you need to finish it within... Oh, Okay, there is a, a time limit in there. Yeah, yeah, there is a time okay. limit. I, I think I'm like 90% sure it's two minutes and 37 seconds. So it's I'm 90%. Or hard. Again, for me, I do this in the college. It's easy for me, but but, but that's because trained like me. Who for someone that is untrained, I think you need six to eight months to prepare for it. Six to eight months. If you're not ready, yeah, right? The, but just by looking at you, I think you're okay. No, I am. <laughs> I think you're okay. I think, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> But um, but most people think as a guy who is not un, uh, as fit as I am. Yeah. So again, so cardio, your cardio, okay. um, have you done the beep test before? No, I haven't. So it's 20 meters okay. and you just run, you just go back and forth How the designated times? line. You keep going until there's like a little soundtrack that's placed. Okay. So whenever you hear the beep, you have to run and the, okay. and then you have to run 20 meters back and forth, but then the beep gets faster and faster each time, meaning you have to clear that 20 meters faster and faster and then it will tell you what stage you're on so stage seven is what you have to get it's a little hard if your cardio isn't good but again i can't say if it's like for the average person if it's easier or hard because i don't know what the average person's cardio is yes. i told you I, I work out all the time so it's easy for me but again at our college we do it we have the actual testing 
we have like the machines over there. They we we do the simulation of the actual prep test, and then they timed us. So again, like for the fitness standards, I know I am on par to it, and it's actually not hard. I know there are people that you know are nowhere near the fitness requirements, but then what they do is they they train, they go up and they run every day, right? Um, I think you're if you do cardio three times a week. And you do strength con- and conditioning like two times a week. So that's five times a week you're working out. I think within six months, no matter where you are fitness-wise, you will be okay. okay. As long as you try, you'll be okay, right? They didn't, <laughs> sorry, they didn't make it, they didn't make it um, like crazy, crazy hard. Um, So I think the fitness requirement, and it's, I think that's the last thing you do, I think, right? So... After the entire process, because what you do is after you get screened and everything, like your background, they call you in for interviews, right? And then you just, um, there's just a bunch of questions that they answer, like basic stuff, you know, and they're just seeing how how you are as a person. So you go in, you just give your interview. Again, I haven't done any of this, right? But this is just my knowledge of, of the matter uh, based on what I've asked other police officers, because I'm talking to a lot and they they all pretty much say the same thing. They say that most people are scared, but it's it's very, very simple. As long as you as long as you work hard towards everything, you go in, you're honest, you tell the truth, right? Because there's nothing you can't hide anything from them. They're the police, yeah. right? They they know everything. You can't you can't like if you got like a speeding ticket, but it was like ten years ago. It it doesn't matter if you've never gotten a speeding ticket afterwards. They know you have a speeding ticket. And that doesn't mean you won't get in. You have to be honest, right? When they ask you, have you ever had any encounters with the law? Just tell them, hey, yeah, I got a speeding ticket 10 years ago. But what you say is that I learned my lesson. I was young. And now I realize that speeding is a bad thing. And I've, as you can see, for the last 10 years, I haven't got a speeding ticket because I know that it's a wrong thing to do. And then you know what they'll say? They'll be like, this is a good guy. He knows he made a mistake, but he's willing to accept that. Whereas if you say, no, I've not got a speeding ticket. They pull you up on the system. They're like, they'll catch you. They'll catch you, and they're like, "Oh, this guy's a liar. He's dis- <laughs> he's dishonest. We don't want this guy." They'll kick you out. And so, one more thing, I want to ask you. Yeah. That, I have heard that for fitness, mm-hmm. for fitness training, mm-hmm. there are some companies who mm-hmm. trained you mm-hmm. to pass the test. Is that? Uh, yeah, both securities company or the angel offer that they like, "Oh, ye wala course lo, hum apko madad karenge." Um, but if does I, it, sorry to interrupt. Mm-hmm, no, 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 it's okay. I just want to clear yeah. my question. Mm-hmm. So does it help or you can do it on your, yourself? Honestly, like my honest opinion, YouTube is up with <laughs> YouTube is up with <laughs> Like, <laughs> yes, there's, if you want to learn language, you can learn YouTube. Yeah, learn everything yeah, from YouTube. Learn everything from YouTube. Like, honestly, like, whatever I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, whatever I'm telling कॉलेज में सीखा सब कुछ जो भी मेरे पास नॉलेज है इट्स आइदर यूट्यूब और स्कूल राइट और ये भी यूट्यूब पे अभी ये देख रहे हैं सबको सो एवरी नॉलेज या सो फिटनेस वाइज आप लिटरली लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आपने ओ पी पी में जाना है राइट यू गो ऑन द ओ पी पी वेबसाइट यू गो टू रिक्वायरमेंट्स जो भी आपको रिक्वायरमेंट्स चाहिए ना सारे उधर लिस्टेड है एवरी या So if you like Toronto police go on TPS website sort information on that you don't they they don't hide anything from you you don't need to pay anybody anything right ha agar aapko trainer ki zarurat hai ha uske paas ja ke like you can pay a trainer but you don't need to pay anybody to help you specifically for policing that is my honest opinion right and i want to know what inspire you to be a police officer what inspired me yeah Like I said it was like project hope something like that but I didn't do project hope I think since eight since I was eight years old I've always wanted to do this and when I did project hope that like this happened like two months ago when I just finished the project if you saw on my Instagram but yeah I did. that that just solidified everything I'm like actually yeah yeah I'm gonna go as well please fully worthy pan yeah yeah Eight years old, you yes. thought about this, right? Since I was eight. So, is there someone in your family mm-hmm. who was a police officer, or no. is a police officer? No. My mom and dad were from Pakistan, and so my brother. So, who did you see? Who inspired you? Police officer. 
हाँ जी सो हमारे स्कूल में एक ऑफिसर होता था उसका नाम था ऑफिसर नील ही वुड गो अराउंड टॉक टू द यूथ राइट और उस टाइम पे लाइक सबको ऑबियसली वॉज अ बैड टाइम स्पेशली इफ यू इफ यू वॉन्ट वाई इट वॉज अन गुड टाइम फॉर यू वन आई वॉज इन मिडल स्कूल राइट Well, there was bullying, there was name calling, stuff like that. So, and ye bhi tha ke sare officer go rahe the, like Because they were all were, white. They're not not white. That yeah, way. that's why. The, I was genuinely scared. I'm like, I haven't seen a single officer of color. No black officers, no female officers, no people of officers that are of color. So, mere the mag me ye tha ke oh, ma ko bhi officer nahi ban sakta. But then, when I saw the first time, I saw. एक फिकार इज नेम मैं उसका नाम भूल गया हूँ लेकिन वो वो टोरटो पुलिस का ऑफिसर था और उसने वी कॉल इन हिंदी ही वॉज वेंग अ टर्बिन ही वॉज वेंग अ टर्बिन आई वॉज पार्ट ऑफ इज यूनिफॉर्म वॉज लाइक टोरटो पुलिस लाइक टर्बिन आई एम लाइक ओह दस लाइक दैट्स मी दैट्स लाइक सम वन फ्रॉम माई कम्यूनिटी राइट तो मैं उससे उसके पास गया हूँ उसको मैंने आधा घंटे के लिए मैंने उसको तंग करता रहा मैं सब सवालों के साथ आई जस्ट एस्किंग हिम एंड एस्किंग हिम क्वेश्चंस दैट्स व्हाट आई एम डूइंग राइट नाउ या नो 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 बट आई डोंट थिंक इट्स अ बॉदर बट लाइक मैं जेन्युइनली आई एम आई एम अ आई एम अ पुलिस फैन बॉय राइट नाउ लाइक जब भी मैं अभी भी जब भी मैं पुलिस ऑफिसर्स को देखता हूं मैं अपना फोन निकाल के उनको दिखाता हूं मैंने भी ऑफिसर बनना है आप मुझे क्या सजेस्ट सजेस्ट कर सकते हो और सारे सेम चीज कहते हैं सारे सेम चीज कहते हैं बी ऑनेस्ट दे मोटिवेट यू यस ऑफ कोर्स Of I course, mean. they they just tell me the same thing. Honest, bro. Just honest, honesty. Honesty is the best thing that will get you in. Jao, try your hardest and be honest. Don't think that you have to sell yourself like as a as the best superhero, right? Unko pata ke koi perfect nahi hota. They everybody knows there's no such thing as a perfect human being, but they they just want the best version of you, right? So yeah, like I said, when <coughs> sorry, yeah. when I since I was eight years old. उस इंकाउंटर के बाद मैं फुल फोर्स पुलिसिंग राइट और मुझे पता है बाद में क्या पूछने लगे हो मुझे पता है कहोगे कि ओ आपके कोई टेंशन आपको मिला है किसी से लाइक बट ऑनेस्टली आई डोंव टाइम फॉर दैट आई हैव नेवर ड्रेंक अल्कोहल नेवर स्मोक्ड आई डोंव टाइम फॉर दैट स्टफ फुल फोर्स पुलिसिंग राइट आई डोंव टाइम फॉर लाइक अल्कोहल ड्रग्स वेमेन इट्स अ डिस्ट्रैक्शन दैट स्टफ कम्स लेटर Actually, no. It doesn't come later. <laughs> I'm going to focus. <laughs> it doesn't come <laughs> later. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. But like, it's that. That honestly, that, that's actually another piece of advice I would give. Right? I know a lot of kids. They want to have fun. They want to party. You know, go to clubbing and all that stuff. I would say, work hard. These from 18 to 25 to 26 years old. Work hard, and then enjoy the rest of your life. Because if you enjoy now. Then you have to work hard for the rest of your life, yeah, right? right. Yeah. That's the best piece of advice I can give you. Be honest and like, just motivate yourself. Because trust me, there's a lot of distractions in university, in college. You have there's distractions everywhere. And then when and like I told you, when people see that you're becoming a little bit successful, you're talking to the right people. Yeah, right. Then they come to you. Oh, Zayn, hi. I want to be your friend too. I want to do this. I want to <laughs> do that. And it's it's very easy because before those yeah. people weren't talking to you. Yeah, right. Right. पर कहेंगे ये कौन है लाइक हु इज दिस पर्सन बट लाइक बट देन इट यू हैव टू स्टे फोकस्ड वन ऑफिसर आई सॉ एंड हिज स्टोरी वाज लाइक सो इंस्पिरेशनल टू मी बिकॉज़ ही हैड और सॉरी शी हैड एवरीथिंग अगेंस्ट देम राइट शी लाइक हैड टू किड्स राइट एंड लाइक व्हेन यू नो व्हेन यू हैव किड्स यू 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 कैन रियली यू आर नॉट फिजिकली फिट बट व्हाट शी डिड इज इवन आफ्टर हैविंग टू किड्स शी ट्रेनड एवरी सिंगल डे And again, within eight months, she passed the fitness test for policing. So I don't think anybody has an excuse. If you can have two kids and still pass the fitness test for policing, I think anybody can anybody do it. Anybody can. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you truth. Like I never feel that much motivated before. Mm-hmm. Definitely, you, you can. Inspiring me too much with your with your stories. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm feeling like I can do that. Yeah, can and that's not that hard. Yeah. You have to work for it, right? You have to work for it, and I I would say. volunteer right uh, sorry related to volunteer mm-hmm. i want to ask that we have to do some we have to complete some volunteer hours right it's not specifically hours they don't care how long you volunteer volunteered for they want to see what you did 
yeah, right? I have to do. So. Yes. So, of, oh, of course. That, so let, that's what I'm saying. Like, volunteer work is the best. Because what you're showing them is that you care enough about the community that you're willing to sacrifice your own time and help people without getting paid. You're, you're showing selfless character, uh, selfless behavior. You're showing that you have character and you care about these people, right? So one of the things I do is I there is a food bank, okay. right? And the Toronto police actually come every now and then. They help us out with that as well. We prepare over 200 to 300 meals and we go. And then we hand, hand deliver those meals to senior homes, to people that, you know, have no one in their lives. They live alone, right? How does it feel? Again, like I said, it's the you I can't explain it in words. You have to do it. It's the best feeling. You know, because one of one of the one of the elderly that I gave the food to, she said that she hasn't seen her son in I think 15 years. And he, um she misses him and then she says that it's she looks forward to seeing us every week, right? Cuz we're the only people in their lives. We're the only like kids they see bahut badi baat hai yeah that's what i'm saying on unke paas koi nahi hai unko wo connection chahiye and like they need they need you and that's what it means to be a police officer you need to be there for people right so that's one thing we do we hand out meals and we do that every week right another thing we did is we um i won't say where exactly but uh actually no i posted it it's in region park in region park what we did <laughs> Yeah, I just realized that it's it's on the internet, so you yeah, it's fine. You like he gonna scroll my Instagram? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's, <laughs> and found that weird. Yeah, it's not a secret. It's in Regent Park. Yeah, what we did is we obviously a bit sardine, you know. So it's very cold outside, and people don't have jackets. So what we did is we got a bunch of uh, clothes, and we just gave out jackets, you know, because we want people to stay warm. We want people to make sure they don't get sick. you know so we just spent an hour just handing out jackets to people right and it's it's little little stuff like that right um again project hope that's not something that everyone did i was fortunate enough um that the Toronto police trusted me and allowed me to be a part of that um but yeah that basically we literally spent all day driving around to different hotels and like just handing out toys to kids right and i wish you could have seen it I mean I'll send you some pictures so you can post it on uh, and show these guys but it was the best. You had kids running around and like, you know, grabbing toys and like again like I told you they came from a, a country that where you know what their toys are? They get a rock and they throw it against the wall. <laughs> that that's their toy, right? So when I saw that that's the the best feeling in the world. So again, like volunteer, I would highly recommend anybody get your volunteer work, right? So like you are studying in a police foundation course right mm-hmm. but as of me i mm-hmm. want to join but i want to do a volunteer work so mm-hmm. is there any specific place where yes. i can go and so actually volunteer with the police okay we can do that yes what's How, on the what are the steps so like just the same thing as before go on the website for for Toronto police opp uh, rcmp whatever police agency that you uh live in or you're comfortable with working with they have there's a volunteer section in careers and there's a bunch of applications open they're always hiring they always want people to help out <laughs> sorry yeah. um so yeah basically just there's a bunch of opportunities always people think that you have to go and connect with people i found out about most of my volunteer opportunities because i just applied online i literally just applied people don't apply yeah but, because most of the people doesn't know that yeah. there is a specific website we can yeah. go there it's just yeah. a toronto police website That's all it is okay. or the OPP website. Even I didn't know that. You literally just go, you click careers and then you go to volunteer. And then you just there's a bunch of things. What I what I used to do is I know that if you just apply to five places, most likely no one will respond to you. So what did I do? I applied to like 200 places and I got 10 okay. I got, I got like 10 callbacks. And how much time did it take to apply 200 places? Well, a long time. <laughs> you know, a very long time. But again, like like I said, you have to put yourself out there. Yes. Right? But I need to know the estimated time. Like estimated not time? Not perfect exact number. I I don't know exactly because I don't know because for me um the callback like it's different for volunteer and work. For work you get called in within a week or two. No one's going to if if they need to hire you for a specific job, 
they will call you back within a week or two. And because I put myself out there and I got the volunteer opportunity, I'm like, okay, I need to do something that makes me stand out, right? Because not only do I wear that uniform from Centennial College, there are hundreds of students that wear that police uniform. But, and again, I'm not I'm not saying this to flex or anything, right? I'm just saying like, yeah, I guess. on like, I remember one officer, he's, he's very, fam- I won't say his name, but he's very famous. He's on TikTok a lot. He came to our college to give a presentation. Okay. And then he looked at me. He's like, I know you. And he's like, I know you. I see you on my LinkedIn. I see you on Instagram all over the place. And then he shook hand, and I talked to him for like half an hour. He didn't want to talk to anyone else. He just talked to me. And it's because I put myself out there, yeah, right? That's what separates you from yeah. others, right? So that's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm, after that, I'm like, okay, I have to put myself out there now. So like what I did is I just talked with the police. I talked with the college. I'm like, hey, let's let's help these guys out. It's a good cause. We're, we, it's Christmas, you know? Like it, it has nothing to do with religion or anything like that. It's just about helping kids out. So what we did is we went... We got a bunch, we got the whole college to come together and just give a bunch of toys. We collected, I think, five to eight boxes of toys. And they had to bring a truck to take all the toys away. But yeah, we, we got a bunch of toys. Um, and then the police were like, you know what? You just come, just come and you did so well. Just come and deliver it to them. So thankfully, I was able to go and do that. And now they want me to come again this year, this uh, fall, and they want it to be a permanent thing, right? So what I'll, what I'll tell people is that put yourself out there, be confident, and be honest. That's like the, the best thing. It's nothing like special or anything, right? You don't have to be a superhero. Yeah. It's just very simple stuff. There is a question, like it's off the topic. That's okay. No. But I heard like so many girls, mm-hmm. like boys in a uniform. They do ever happen with you any incident like that honestly i think i'm the worst person to ask that question <laughs> i generally think i generally yeah, you think told me you, I, I, right? you need to tell you need to remember i'm from a muslim household right so i'm also part of a desi household you okay, know explain to me that so basically the rules of dating in muslim household is you don't <laughs> you are comfortable in talking about that yeah 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 no yeah, so i'm i want more detail about that because so, I didn't know. So basically what we, um, you're familiar. It's just, uh, we don't follow like, basically when it comes to like dating and stuff like that, it's we like in our religion, um, we're not allowed to, there, there's specific rules. Okay. okay. I don't want to speak s- specifically because everyone follows it differently. Okay. And I am not a, I'm, I cannot speak to other people, yes. but what I, what I will tell you, different perspective, yeah, yeah right? but in my family, I can okay. at least tell you what it's like in my family. The rule is, is that you, you cannot bring someone into the house if you cannot even take care of yourself, right? How are you going to take care of someone else if you can't even take care of yourself? So the rule generally is get a good job, get education. And then when the time is right, then, you know, uh, pr- probably get an arranged marriage, but that's the way. It, that's the way it works, you know. And I'm I'm okay with that because right. Th- that's that's the way it is in my religion. Everything. So. I don't think so. You are you're gonna get a love marriage. No, no, no. Yeah, and that's okay. Honestly, like most people don't believe me. I was, I've been in Toronto my whole life, and I'm okay with that. So you never dated anyone before? No, no. no a whole life. Never. Too many girls gonna mess you. Know? <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> I'll, guy I'll need. <laughs> yeah, and then when they do, I'll be like, oh, nice block. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm being honest, right? Because it's that. That's the way you have to. You have to, right? Because you have to. You have to value yourself, right? Because the thing is, my dad always told me this. He's like, when you chase after something, you'll never get it, right? But then when you chase after your goals. All those things will come to you, but right? Mostly people doesn't follow our religion, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not even a religion thing. It's a cultural thing too, Yeah, but right? your parents taught something and you are following it. No, no, no. No, no, no. They, I'm following my own thing. If I think, uh, if my, if I think my parents are teaching me something wrong, I will tell them. No, I, it's a I right told thing. You. It's a yeah, right yeah, thing, yeah. but you are following it. Yeah, yeah, I'm following it, but that's because I choose Mostly to follow it. Most kid doesn't yeah. follow even the right thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm going to do whatever I want, right? It's, 
It's Saturday night. What time is it? Like almost 10 o'clock. It's Saturday yeah, night. You are doing podcasts? Yeah. What do you think most kids my age are doing? I'm 24. What do you think everyone's doing on a Saturday night? They're Even down. I be partying over yeah, there. they're downtown. I have never set a foot in a club before. I'm telling you. I've never? I've never even tasted alcohol. And you live in Toronto. Right? I live in Toronto. Man. I've never smoked. I never drank. I've never done any of that. I never dated. I never done any of that I'm stuff. I'm telling you, I'm going to post your Instagram with all these. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do it. Description and every girl going to go, go this for is it. The guy we need. Definitely follow me. I don't know if. <laughs> In case you don't know, we're yeah. all 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you guys are, yeah. I'm going to watch it tonight, right? I'm going to watch the video and I'm going to watch the video. I'm like, shit. I'm like, shit. I'm like, oh, I got to hit the gym before I come here. One more. Joe, how about the last video? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm like, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. These guys are big, man. Like, I've been tr I've been trying to get big so long, but I, I, I'm I'm a big martial artist. So I do, I do cardio so much. So it's hard for me to gain weight. I just have a low appetite. I have to fix that, and you're gonna help me with that afterwards. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. Just, again, like I said, there would I wouldn't be an officer in any other country, um, and that's because I genuinely believe Canada has is going in the right direction when it comes to policing. Um, they're involving more people from different ethnicities. There's also um, different sexualities. Different. They're including everybody, right? They want. They're moving away from that type of policing, right? And and again, like I said, there's corruption everywhere, no matter where you go. Not just in policing, but in in corporate and business, even in something like charities. Some charities, there's also corruption too. You cannot avoid it. But that's why they need people that are more educated, nice, good character people to fight that corruption. Unfortunately, when you see someone like an amazing police agency where there's thousands and thousands of officers doing really really good work but then there's that one guy there's that one guy that ruins it that ruins it but then what happens the media reports on that and then what happens the entire police gets painted with this broad brush that the police are corrupt and all that stuff and again i'm not saying that in some countries or some agencies they might be corrupt maybe there there might be you know there's so many videos online of um poor conduct with officers but that's the thing we like to focus on the bad stuff we don't see all the good stuff we don't see the guy doing cpr trying to save that person we don't see the officer running into danger to save someone's life right we don't see the officer that you know is genuinely affected by all these things but still goes to work the next day because he knows that no one else is willing to do that job he we need officers right and that's what I'm saying. Like to answer your question, yes, there are, there are corrupt officers. But I can guarantee you, and especially in Canada, we are moving in a very, very good direction, right? We are, we are getting more involved with the community. We are moving away from the system where we try to make as many arrests as possible. We are, we're trying to connect. Basically, we want these people to realize that hey, I am you. After I clock out, I am you. They're, the only difference between you is I am an officer. That's it. But if you need anything, and I know one of the officers that I work with, he hands out his phone number to the people, to his personal phone number. He gives it to them. He's like, if anything happens, just call me. I will help you. And that's what's happening, right? Like they're literally helping these people out. And that's what we need. We, this, this is the what policing is these days. And I unfortunately, you like media doesn't show that. Media shows all the bad examples of policing. So yes, there is corruption, but like that's why I want to be an officer, right? And that's why I think I should be an officer. And that's why you should be an officer. That's why our people, people of the LGBTQ community, people that are of color, people that have different cultures, different religions, different backgrounds. If I'm sat like this, playing with my nails, Right, and I don't care about anything. I'm sitting like this. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like an officer is gonna go like, okay, well, I don't want this guy. But if I'm sat up straight, I'm leaning forward, I'm eye contact, I'm showing interest, you know, he's gonna go like, this guy's confident, I want him. So yeah. And there's a follow-up question. Sure. What do you think about the increasing crime? Oh yeah, it's it's, it's definitely Scarborough going up. There is too much. Scarborough, and again, I. I live near there, so I know it's, it's, yeah, it's not good. Crime is going up and it's only going to go up from, from here on out. Um, what I think about it, 
I, I have a I have a straight up solution for it. I think we need to it's not it's not more force, right? Definitely police will help, but I think you whenever there's a problem, you look at the root cause of the problem and you address the issue there, right? So if you see someone that is potentially going to go into, you know, crime, gang activity, right? Personally, I believe that there's a reason he's doing that or he or she is doing that. There is something that happened in that person's life that made them go towards that direction, right? So you analyze, you treat that person like a person. You don't treat them as case number one, two, three, four. You treat them as, okay, this is John Smith of this area. Like, um, what is back? Do does, are his parents in his life? Does he have criminal background? Um, has he, is he abusing drugs? Is he abusing alcohol? Who are his friends? You take all that information into consideration and then you think of solutions. That's how you tackle. And again, it doesn't solve. There's no way to solve all crime. There is no way. It's impossible. So long as good people exist, bad people will exist. You can't have good without evil. That's just the little philosophy for the day. But um, what you can do is you can attack the issue at the root cause. You can What you can do is you can make programs. You can do gang prevention awareness. You can um, force, not force, you can push kids towards education programs, right? One of the education programs that a, a police officers do is they just hand out free toys. Like we did a Project Hope. Yeah. We give toys out. We give bicycles out. We give, we let them come in. We talk with them. We have fun. We have barbecue events, you know? We show them that, hey, look, it's, it's okay. We're just... We're having fun, you know, like, if, are you having a hard time? Let's let me help you out. You know, like I know um, I remember one one of my friends, he uh, he couldn't afford his uh, his gym membership. So he he snuck in and they called the police on him. And then uh, they were talking. The police was talking with him. And then he's like, yeah, I just really want to work out. I'm sorry. So the police officer paid for six months. Cause he's like this guy. This kid wants to do a good thing. He wants to work out, right? Yeah, he didn't go about it the best way, but like, yeah, he gave him a warning. But from his personal life, paid for the kid for six months, right? And that's the kind of officer I want to be. I want to be able to, <coughs> sorry, I want to be able to help people like that. I want to be able to like, go like, okay, you did something wrong, but I'm not gonna punish you for it. You're clearly in distress. You want to do something good. You just did. You approached the wrong way. So I'm going to help you out like this. So yeah. Okay. As you told, there is a corruption everywhere. Right? Yes. But what I feel here that normal person, who is like me, or my friend, if we have to change the car registration, we have to transfer the car to his brother's name. He has to transfer the car to his brother's name. He has to transfer the car to his brother's name. He has करप्शन अफेक्ट नहीं कर रही उसको yeah. ना इतनी करप्शन भी नहीं है कि नॉर्मल पर्सन को अफेक्ट करे yeah. पर जो बाकी कंट्री है आई डोंट वांट अ यू नेम यू शुड नॉट या वहां पे हर एक चीज के पैसे देने पड़ते हैं mm-hmm. इतनी ज्यादा करप्शन है सो दैट्स व्हाट आई फील सेफ हियर या बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट अफेक्टेड विद द करप्शन राइट आई डोंट केयर मैं आपको ये बता दूं लाइक a lot of people like yeah like i know sabko ye sawal i know people that are watching the sabko pass ye sawal like oh jab aap ticket dete ho aap uske paise milte hai na aapko oh aapko ye puchne wala tha mera tha for the question we make nothing of that agar main 100 ticket hand out karu ya main ek ticket mujhe koi farak nahi padta they don't make money off those tickets they are just there we make our money based off or not we i'm not an officer <laughs> i should say that i'm not an officer yet but police officers don't make their money based off of how many people they arrest or how many tickets they give out you know like it has nothing to do they're they're doing their job they're enforcing the law right so we don't that and to speak to that that's what i'm saying like you cannot bribe i mean you could you could bribe anyone but it's very hard to do anything like corrupt with the police here if that makes sense like if you if you got pulled over and you, and you saw the police officer's punjabi like oh bhai punjabi and uh, let, let me go man let me go like he's going to go like oh yeah you are punjabi here's your ticket that's it that's it you have a nice day right like hey, they don't care here and yes some officers we can like they can use their discretion and they can let you go क्योंकि 
as a police officer, you have one thing. You have your credibility, right? Your credibility, sorry, uh, I don't know what the Hindi word for credibility no, is. Yeah. Um, um, but to speak to that, it's your your character. It's who you are as an officer. If you lose your credibility, that's it. You, you're not, you're not, no one's going to trust you anymore. And especially now, like back in the day, yes, you can get away with stuff. But now, officers have body cams. Uh, everyone is, everything is being recorded now, right? So officers have to follow the law to the T. We have to follow the rules. We have to make sure that everything goes accordingly, right? So that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm, I'm proud to say that if I do become an officer in Canada, like I will... I will have the biggest smile on my face and I will wear that uniform with honor because this is one of the one of the few countries where where you can proudly say you're an officer, right? Most the people who broke the rules, mm -hmm. they don't like police officers mm -hmm. because they get the ticket and yeah. then yeah. they like, he's not a good guy, he yeah. gave me the ticket and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Right? If you are not breaking the rule, yeah. you're going to like it. You're going to like the law. And everything because everyone is going on a speed limit, certain speed limit, mm -hmm. and because of that, there yeah. are no in accidents happening on the road. Yeah, if there is no speed limit, everyone will be smashing yeah. each other car, right? Like, now you think that if you call the police, when do you call the police? When you are in, you are in a situation? certain situation in which you can't help it out by yourself. Yeah, but when you call the police, Nein. No, right? Nein. You call when you're desperate, when you need help, when you're in the lowest of the low. And now you think that when the police officer is going to call, they're going to meet with someone that is not happy. They're going to meet with someone that is not feeling good, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of these, a lot of these officers, they you need to respect them in that manner. They're not, they're not, they don't like giving you the ticket. If I pull you, if I'm an officer, you're my friend right now, right? But if you go and you start doing stunt racing on the 401 and I'm an OPP officer and I pull you over, I'm not going to go like, oh, bhai, kaise ho? Chala, nikal ja. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to go like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that, right? Because I'm going to lose, like, not even lose my job. I'm going to lose my credibility, you but know? You are representing your country. Yes, right? I'm represent. I'm not only representing the agency I work for, I'm representing my people. I'm, res I'm representing everything that I stand for at that point. The law, yes. And once that it only takes one person. As soon as one person breaks the law, it's so easy for that to be a chain reaction. That's why there the policing, again, I told you, it's not that hard to get in. It's competitive. You have to be good. But they're very strict on who they hire. They want, they want people that like will understand the jobs uh, the, sorry, the requirements when it comes to the job. They want people that, you know, will follow the rules. You know, they don't want people that, you know, let's say, for example, you go to a domestic call, right? And then there's a situation, you need to make an arrest. But then the person is so rich, they offer you a million dollars to look the other way. A million dollars. How long do you have to work to make a million dollars? Me? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to, yeah, yeah okay. Years, years, right? <laughs> years, right? But right now you have an opportunity to make it in two seconds. Yeah, right. Who wouldn't say yes to that? So then as an officer, and I believe me, there have been officers that have been put in that situation. Okay. There have been officers. They arrested the person anyways. Because you can't you can't take that money. Right? Like and that's just part of the job. You know, and again, I think I have so much more to learn. I'm I'm not even I th I genuinely like I'm twenty four. I have so much to learn. And I I'm grateful for the position I'm in. And again, I already said it, but I'll say it again. It's my dad. My dad is the number one reason why I'm in this position. Of course, my mom too and my siblings, but my my dad has been because they're gonna beat you when you. No, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but didn't say about me. But my dad, like you know, in Daisy communities, it's like oh, mera beta ye kar raha, mera beta wo kar raha. And it's like my dad said, my dad has never been like that. My dad's like, you do what you want to do. I'm gonna be proud of you regardless of what you want to do. And there was no pressure on me, right? My dad's like, just do something. Just do something. I don't care what you do. Just as long as you're happy. And he he knew from a young age that I wanted to be like a police officer. So he's like, okay, I will help you be a police officer. Yeah, I, same thing my mother did. Yeah. For me. And you're happy now, right? Yeah, I am so much. Definitely. Happy. I'm so, not even so much proud of. Yeah. That what I'm doing right now, different from others. Yeah. 
yourself. Avoid the people that um, have no future, have like, will only cause you trouble. Like, avoid those people, right? Because you shouldn't try to live your life to impress someone else, right? Because because if you do, and then those people leave you, and they will leave you, trust me, right? Yeah, and yeah. I know firsthand they will leave you, right? You will have, you'll be like, okay, now what? What do I do? I haven't done anything other in my life. You will like that for a certain time. Yeah. But after they leave you, you are just, yeah. you can't do anything. And then you th think like, I did wrong. Yeah. I have to choose the right path. Yeah. But th then you don't have the correct time about it. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying like, anyone, no matter where you are in the world, just go to the gym, study. It's a very boring life. But up until you're like 25, 26, trust me, you guys will thank me later. You will have, you will have an amazing life. You will, you will be going to parties, hopefully not drinking, but like you will like, cause I'm never going to drink in my life. Even if I'm successful, I'm not going to drink. That's just, it just doesn't make sense to me in, in my head. No offense to anyone that does it in my head. It just doesn't make sense to me. Just drink water. Water's good for yeah, you. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, water's good for you. You know, like if you want these biceps right here, you know, <laughs> you can't drink alcohol. If you want abs, you can't drink alcohol. You got to yeah, drink yeah. water. You got to work out. You got to be happy and help other people. There are people, you know, like if you go and you say to someone, hey, I hope you're having a nice day. You don't know what that person is going through. If you give them like friendly like advice yes uh that what i want to ask mm -hmm. like sorry for interrupting. no worries no worries you have but, to you have to stop me by the way because no, i will no, keep no, talking yeah i want you to talk yeah but you are going on a good way yeah but i want to ask one question i was more Go for curious it. about it nobody feels happy every day mm -hmm. so as a police officer so, but you still behave karna padta because mm -hmm. as you told us right mm -hmm. that जिसको भी हम मिल रहे हैं वो किसी सिचुएशन में फंसा हुआ है इसलिए हमको बुलाया तो आप कैसे डील करते हैं उसको आपका मूड अच्छा नहीं है यू आर गेटिंग सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स इन योर होम लास्ट डे राइट सो हाउ यू डील विद इट तो मैंने मैं ये कहूंगा कि अपना पर्सनल लाइफ पुलिस के अंदर यू हैव टू अवॉइड दैट लाइक यू नीड टू ट्राई योर बेस्ट to stay professional. Agar main ek 911 call pe ja raha hu aur mere mere paas ek acha din nahi tha mujhe bhookh lag rahi hai mujhe mera blood blood sugar sugar like low hai you know fight with the wife kids jo bhi kuch ho raha na agar kisi ki meri zarurat hai meri uh, meri madad ki zarurat hai i cannot let my personal life affect that. Kyunki dusre like dusre ke zindagi ke how do i say this? that person's life is in my hands now like what how i will handle them is up to me my wife she made like the prata she made me was horrible today you know like uh it was horrible i'm not i'm not full or something like that you cannot let that affect you like one of the my friends um and now i consider you guys my friends as well like me just talking to you my mental health is so much nicer now because all of the stresses that I had for the day is gone now because I'm, yeah, I'm feeling the same. Yeah. Thing. And thanks. You are giving so much information. Yes. Hopefully. They uh, explain <laughs> everything, whatever yeah. you want. If you have free time, you will pass. If you don't know what you will do, you will do something wrong. You will do A hundred percent. And I can, I, I can speak to that because I have friends who don't have anything to do with them. Those guys are in club. Pe jaan, like, okay, kuch karne ke liye you waste your time, you waste your money. It's not good. Focus on yourself. Like, if you have free time, you have so many books Get a book, read, go to the gym, do something. Fill up your schedule. Fill up your schedule. And that's the best thing I can I can tell you. Like, no, really. You inspired me so much. Oh, no, I mean, I like, I'm doing something. No, no, no. I can do more. I can tell you that mujhe you guys like are really talented like ye microphone ba setup karne ke liye mujhe do hafte lagenge like i'm <laughs> i'm not good with tech at all right like sabke paas different different qualities hote hain right right, right? like map ko look like i've been going to the gym 3 years you've been going 6 months no. look at the difference <laughs> between us you know like sabke paas different qualities hote hain but right? you, are, you have more power than me right no it, it depends it depends you know like i'm a martial artist 
right? I I know कि मैं एक certain physique तक नहीं पहुंच सकता इसलिए मैं technique पर rely करता हूँ लेकिन मुझे पता है like at the end of the day if a big guy the big guy always wins you know so you have to work with what you got that's why jiu jitsu muay thai all those things get into it and it's a good way to get into policing too like if you do a lot of martial arts dekhna apna cardio kidhar tak jayega phir kyunki wo 10 kg hum bhagte rehte hain like it kills you after joining police does they train you more <laughs> no that's why i said hum dekhte hain na ki police officers ka wazan badh jata hai Haan. unki aankhon kamzor ho jati hain na Haan. koi fitness there's no fitness reassessment it depends though if you go into specific like i know agar aap uh, agar aap ek specialized team mein like let's say you're in in a specialized team where you always are running then every year they assess your fitness because job karne ke liye aapko fit hona padega lekin sirf regular officer banne ke liye aapko ek dafa please ka test pass karna padega phir baad mein they will not reassess even if your vision is not as good you can put on some glasses and it's okay wo okay. mind nahi karenge lekin jab aap police college mein jaane lage ho na aapko wo sare standards ko pass karna padenge so there's no reassessment as long as you're not going into a division that requires or not a division i apologize a special team that requires um a reassessment thank you so much man thank no you worries. for so much information i got you it's been fun bahut acha laga aapse baat karke yeah. really matlab aisa lag raha hai ki mere se bhi koi zyada focused hai life mein yeah for sure mere ko ab ye lag raha hai ki main abhi kam kar raha hu kuch life mein main no, kaam no, no. karna padega <laughs> definitely guys nice to meet you man nice to meet you i'll be back when i'm an officer yeah yeah sure definitely i will be waiting thank you so much man yeah, thanks sure. thanks see you again